Hey, I'm Richard Harris Jr. I'm from Dixon, Tennessee. I'm a junior at Bethlehem University where I bowl collegially. And I'm here today to work on my game, try to get better. And the ball I'm going to be throwing today is the Ebonite Source. I'm Doug Hayes. I'm a staff member with Ebonite. And we will be out here today working with Richard Harris. What we're going to do we're going to, today, we're going to start out, watch your game, see your role, determine the things you do best determine the things we need to work on, and we'll, we'll go from there to the different stages that you can adapt your game to all the different conditions you're gonna see out on your tournaments, in your college tournaments, your house conditions, and we'll take each step, work with that, and adjust your game to be able to cover all those areas. Do you have any ideas of things you think you need to work on? Mostly trying to play a little straighter. Um... The problem I usually have, especially in some of the college tournaments, is fresh oil when we first start out. Somewhere around 10 is the good place to always start out, and usually with the little bump to about 7, 6, somewhere around in there. And that's usually where I usually kind of struggle with, mostly. Right. But usually once the lanes break down, it fits better in with me, so I can get in and kind of open the lane up. Sure. And kind of what, bump it out. What we can do on that, we can work on surfaces, different surfaces of your layouts. That's a way to combat that. We can we'll have plenty of time to work on that. Uh, your game looks pretty sound as far as the approach and the release. And we'll just go to those different areas as each one comes along and make you a better player start to finish. Sounds good. Okay. All right, that looks, your house shot in that, you have a really good, really strong game, your house shots. I'm sure you bowl really well on all your house shots. Pretty good. And what, what we have to learn with you, teach with you, is when you go to your trouble spots, like you talked in the tournaments, when you have to play 10 to 8, that tighter shot is getting your body a little square because you're so opened up, you're so opened up on that, it's hard to throw a ball that, to bump it, Right. you know, when you're up the track. Why don't we try and square you up Square you up on your shot, okay. like you're closer to what you talked about on your trouble spot, okay. on that second arrow that's probably going to hook too much, but just square yourself up and we'll make a move from there so you can learn, get a feel of playing the straighter swing. Okay. All right. That one got out there a little wide. We see yeah. how much it's going to hook. So why don't we just, why don't we take and move you all the way into 15? Try to square up in your house shot. That's where the heavier oil is. You might try to go into 15 and square up and catch that, that roll like you're talking about you're looking for in your tournaments. Sounds good. So 15, just 15 right. about 12, you say? Yep. All right, so there was a whole lot less reaction. You were squared up with that, and that's what you're going to see. When you go to play these uh, sport conditions where you have to play that area you don't like, 10 to 12, you can square up, roll it like that, and determine if you want a little bit of surface. You might change the surface a little bit to make it roll a little earlier or later, and that'll give you just as good a read as what you've got, which will increase your times of hitting the pocket, and your, your scores will be a lot better. That always helps. Okay. I feel like today went really well. Um, I'm glad I got to work with Doug. He's a, a great bowler. Um, I feel like I can use some of the things he's told me today to uh, put it to use, especially in college tournaments and just regular tournaments. The ball, uh, the source, it's a great ball. It really is. It gets you down lane, it's got enough flip on the back, and it's got a little mid lane to it as well. So it's gonna give you just it's so many opportunities for many different lane conditions, especially if you add a little surface to it, stay around the pocket, all's gonna be great. <laughs>